Right, one of the students actually asked me like how to solve the B and I find it quite interesting. This is the reason why I literally decide to make a short video to discuss about it. Okay, what's so special about B is like given that the uh, alpha is the root of the equation, so I understand root basically means answer of x, right? So I just say x will equal to the alpha. So and then we have x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. This is a very standard quadratic equation. But over there, they ask us to show alpha power of 3 equals to 4 alpha minus 15. So this thing is a little bit weird. It's like you only have quadratic equation, but you want to get something like alpha power of 3 or something like x power of 3. So this is what I will do. First thing is I will copy down the x squared plus 3x. Minus 5, I'm going to move my 5 to the other side, so it becomes equal to 5. Then I will plug in my alpha, right? Since I understand alpha basically is the root of the equation, means it's equal to x. Then here I will get alpha squared plus 3 alpha equals to 5. So right now my objective is I want to get the alpha power of 3 here. So what I will do here is maybe I will multiply alpha for both sides. So if I multiply the alpha for both sides, I should get something like... um alpha power of 3 plus 3 alpha square equals to 5 alpha. Okay, this one uh, actually is quite close, but um, at least I have some alpha power of 3, but I don't have something like 14 alpha and minus 15. So from here, or from, yeah, from this one, if I substitute the alpha into it, we got alpha square plus 3 alpha equals to 5, right? So if I move my 3 alpha to the other side, I should get alpha square equals to 5 minus 3 alpha, right? Why is important? Because I see the equation they ask us to show, right? It doesn't have alpha square. So this is the reason why I would think to sub in my alpha square into it to get rid of the alpha square. Then I should have something like 3. My alpha square is 5 minus 3 alpha equals to 5 alpha. So I will just uh, expand it. So this one should get give me 15 minus... Um, 9 alpha equals to 5 alpha. Then I should be able to get my answer here. Then this one, like minus 5 alpha, move to the other side, become plus 9 alpha. 9 plus 5 is 14 alpha. And plus 15, move to the other side, I will get minus 15. Then I will easily get my answer. So for this kind of question, the only tricky part I would say is this one. You need to get the idea, you need to multiply alpha for both sides of your equation. If you can understand this, then this three mark question shouldn't be too hard for you. I hope you find this video helpful. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.